Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ben Thompson here, audiologist with Pure Tinnitus. Thanks for being here on my YouTube channel. Hey, have you been on different online forums for tinnitus, whether that's in Facebook groups or other websites? Some of them are pretty doom and gloom. Others of them provide very valuable information. One of the most recent Facebook groups for tinnitus is one that is designed for people who have developed hearing loss and tinnitus after the COVID vaccine. Within two months, the group has expanded to over 2,000 members, and there's a lot of chat, there's a lot of comments, there's a lot of posts about what to do managing tinnitus and hearing loss after the COVID vaccine. I wanted to make a video from my perspective to try to help those who might have developed tinnitus as a result of the COVID vaccine. This video will cover what to do, what the current theories are in terms of how tinnitus develops after the COVID vaccine. Is managing tinnitus from the COVID vaccine any different from managing tinnitus otherwise? And some basic tips that will help anyone with tinnitus. Welcome to Pure Tinnitus. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson. If you're new to tinnitus, I recommend considering going to the American Tinnitus Association. They have a new patient roadmap that walks you through the important steps of what to do after you've been diagnosed or after you develop sudden onset tinnitus. I recommend seeing an audiologist, a hearing doctor early, and especially one who has familiarity with tinnitus patients. Try not to overanalyze and obsess about solving tinnitus immediately because that can have diminishing returns. Also consider working with your general practitioner, your family doctor, to manage sleep and consider how we can manage and anxiety and stress because that can fuel tinnitus and make it much louder than it otherwise would have been. And please, please, and I say please, do not waste your money on miracle pills or follow some comment post online about some unknown herbal supplement that will take away tinnitus. Please save your money. I jumped into that Facebook group I was talking about earlier and I did an ask me anything type post where I was able to help people who had questions for an audiologist. And from that post, there was a large number of responses and questions. So now for the rest of this video, I will go question by question with my answer about how I help them. I want to make this very clear that no matter what caused in this, it is possible and it is likely that the perception and the volume of sudden onset tinnitus will go down. There is a natural process called habituation, and unless someone has a sustained activation of the limbic system, the emotional centers of the brain, or the autonomic nervous system, which is the automatic functioning of the physical body, often manifesting with anxiety or stress, if those systems are kept at bay, tinnitus can naturally get better. Working with an audiologist can induce that habituation, which means allow it to happen as fast, as quickly, as easy as possible. So I must give you that hope if you're new to this. And I must tell you from my personal experience that this does happen. Loud volume tinnitus does not stay loud for everyone forever. Your sudden onset tinnitus will very likely get better. So let's figure out how we do that. Question number one from this group, someone asked, I'm over a month in with this tinnitus. Is there anything I can do to get rid of this? Yes, many people can reduce their tinnitus perception and volume. The first step is to make sure there's no hearing loss because a hearing loss can be a main factor in developing tinnitus. Make sure you work with an audiologist to get your hearing straight. If that means technology to help you hear or to help your tinnitus, strongly consider that. That does help people. And functionally, I want you to increase your self-care three times. Why would I do that? It sounds so simple. Increase your self-care three times. What can we do to promote healthy changes to affect the systems for stress, anxiety, sleep, and fear? Because when those systems are kept at bay, the body and brain can naturally reduce tinnitus over time. Trust me on this. I've seen it and wanted to make sure to give that message again. Now, I've made a lot of videos on this YouTube channel about mindfulness, sound therapy, meditation, sleep, stress, anxiety, hearing aids. All of that comes together to help someone. I don't care what caused the tinnitus. All of those factors can be used to dramatically help the symptom for what's going on. Now, particularly to this case with the tinnitus as a result of the COVID vaccine, there is a theory that there's a neuroinflammatory response. So that means considering an anti-inflammatory diet might be of use. I myself am not a nutritionist. However, I do dabble with nutrition and essentially an anti-inflammatory diet means putting foods into our body that do not cause an inflammation response, basically a stress response from our body. Eating lots of processed sugar, eating lots of breads, eating lots of processed carbs, those kinds of things can have an inflammatory response 
for a type of person. Now it's advised to work with a nutritionist. I have worked with a nutritionist myself in the past. It's recommended, it's advised to see proper professional help if possible, because when you're doing these kind of changes long-term, it can affect your energy levels and we don't want that. So keep that in mind. So if you develop tinnitus as a result of the COVID vaccine, I believe that all of these techniques and tools will still help you. So please do not think, oh, none of that applies to me, Dr. Ben, because my tinnitus is different. I developed it from the COVID vaccine. So I'm going to find what's going to work for me, not all this other stuff that works for other people with tinnitus. If you find yourself telling yourself that story, please try to check yourself. Try to follow what the medical professionals like myself are recommending. And I promise you're very likely to get better with this condition. Question number two here is for those with symptoms after the first shot, any thoughts or experience with the second shot making it worse or just prolonging the possible recovery time. So some individuals are affected by the first shot. Others are only affected by the second shot. I polled the pure tinnitus community here on YouTube. I'll put an image up of that. And about two thirds of patients reported that they did not experience changes to their tinnitus after the second shot. Now this data is definitely skewed because why are people on my YouTube channel? because they have bothersome tinnitus, most likely. So take the information there with a grain of salt. However, what I wanted to show is that even people who are struggling with tinnitus or who did develop tinnitus in recent times, a majority of them did not have worsened tinnitus after the second COVID vaccine. So one consideration is that this vaccine that you're considering taking, it's designed to be most effective after two shots. However, there still is some effect after one shot. Also to keep in mind, COVID itself has been known to cause hearing and tinnitus issues. So you have to choose a path and please, when you choose either one or the other, try to prepare your immune system, try to enter that with calm and ease that will give your body the best chance of not developing a change to tinnitus or developing more tinnitus. Okay, the next question here is, what is causing this reaction to the vaccine? Is it inflammation? It's a good question that the medical community is investigating right now. Some possible causes include infection of nerves, autoimmune damage, or blood clots. The important thing to know here is that you don't necessarily need a diagnosed hearing loss to develop tinnitus. And even though this sudden onset tinnitus as a result of the COVID vaccine might seem strange and totally unique to you if you're watching this, there are many people I work with on via telehealth who have developed sudden onset tinnitus that we figure out why that started by looking back into their past, external factors like work stress, difficult periods of health, periods of stress or anxiety. Oftentimes those are linked with the onset of tinnitus. So even if your hearing is not damaged or your hearing is in the normal range, you can still develop tinnitus. The methods that we teach here on this YouTube channel will still apply for you. The next question here, is this reaction temporary and how long will it take to recover? My response here is consistent with the work I do with tinnitus retraining therapy to help people get better. So let me read my response. Yes, this reaction is temporary. For most patients with tinnitus, the body incorrectly analyzes the auditory sensations in the brain and increases the perception of the sound of tinnitus. Then stress, anxiety, insomnia, and fear can potentially make it louder and sustain in loudness. Working with a tinnitus specialist, either in person or via telehealth, it is typical to improve the anxiety, stress, and insomnia around tinnitus within one to three months. The loudness of tinnitus can calm down too, but for most people that happens between six and 12 months, so it can get softer. Now that said, sudden changes to tinnitus after the COVID vaccine, I have seen reports, I have worked with people, I have received emails about more rapid changes happening in three months or less. So that's definitely possible, but without knowing the full science and the full data on that, it's safer to say that this will get better in a longer term time window. Sometimes these patients are prescribed prednisone, which is a steroid, and that's typically prescribed for someone who has a sudden loss of hearing or sudden vertigo, for example, and that's targeted to the eighth cranial nerve, the nerve that is targeted for hearing, tinnitus, and balance or vestibular problems. In my understanding, prednisone is only prescribed for patients who have sudden hearing loss, not sudden onset tinnitus. However, I have seen in the Facebook groups that some medical doctors are prescribing prednisone for sudden tinnitus without hearing loss. So there are some side effects of taking steroids. Check with your doctor about if that's right for you. So if you're watching this, the main takeaway question is why does tinnitus start after the COVID vaccine? One possible explanation is that what's happening is a heightened immune response, which causes neuroinflammation affecting the systems that can develop tinnitus. So certainly this is a cross specialty issue. 
involving different professionals from different medical communities, immunology, neurology, ENT, and audiology. So if we can all come together, we're hoping that we can do everything we can to make this symptom of tinnitus happen for as short a period of time and reduce in volume as quickly as possible for you or anyone watching or anyone that you know, family or friends that may have suffered with tinnitus after the COVID vaccine. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson. I am the creator and founder of puretinnitus.com. I make these videos to help you, to educate you. Please give a thumbs up if this video did. Thank you so much and check out this next video on my side where we'll talk a bit more about tinnitus and what you can do. Thank you. Bye.